What's up guys? So this will grow to be one of my most important videos that I've ever done. Uh, likely the most important one actually. And people will ask, why are you filming this on a, uh, just on my phone? Because I want to take it back to where it all began for me. My name's Stephen Ronald Bell. I've been in Bitcoin since I was, uh, since 2015, so 2015. Bitcoin was a life changer for me. I went to a prison after that, but Bitcoin changed my life. It changed the trajectory of my family. It introduced me to a lot of um, new things and new people and interesting people in that sort of specific community. I ran a fund. So after that, I ran a crypto fund. We were investing in a lot of startups. And uh, we invested in a mining company and some exchanges like Ascendex and things like that initially. But uh, what I come to you guys here about today, this isn't really about me. I have a concept for a fork that needs to happen with Bitcoin, and I, I believe that it will. So I believe this fork needs to happen in the year 2030. And my concept is to introduce AI to Bitcoin uh, to essentially fork into a secondary chain that's Bitcoin AI and it's AI compatible. And it's also uh, got smart contracts as well. Because I'm building a tool called, so it's Mine Mind. So it's uh, essentially a Bitcoin mining tool that optimizes mining and makes it a little bit more efficient, uh, essentially eliminating the, the biggest pain point if a miner's is power or part of it, a large part. And uh, that's, that's what we try to, you know, we're essentially building that tool out. And uh, I was going to build out a DeFi optimization tool for pools, but uh, it's, it's difficult without smart contracts for Bitcoin. But, and then I have another uh, introduction to the future. I want to introduce BCI mining for, uh, as a UBI concept. So brain computer interface mining via something similar to a Neuralink concept. I think that it uh, increases the op optimization of people. So imagine that you have into the future, we're going to have a bunch more people that need income and they need employment and they need things to do. As automation and as uh, robotics and ultimately AI itself takes over, and I'm not saying takes over in a negative light, but takes a lot of these uh, lower income jobs. If your job was to provide a cheap source of labor, you know, and automation and robotics and tech like that, it's going to make it much harder for you. And then eventually these AI tools and things as they improve is going to make it much harder for you to stay in employment. If your uh, main marketing skill was that you were willing to work cheap, uh, that's going to be a problem into the future. So I have a concept that I believe needs to take over and not to say that it's going to take over, but it needs to become a big thing. It's called BCI mining. So it's a, a spy via a Neuralink concept. And it's a concept that uh, I believe will make Bitcoin mining much cheaper. Uh, not just my, cheaper, but uh, the network itself much more secure, much cleaner also was, was maybe the concept that I was going for. It's going to be a form of clean mining. Uh, how I have it uh, concept in my mind is that people will uh, do block rewards like mine block rewards in their mind. So via this BCI unit. So uh, essentially people can be solving blocks in the background of their mind their computational power from their brain can actually be helping to secure the chain, secure the network. And in doing so, they receive mining rewards. And uh, it's a thing that's going to be into the future, I believe, a big thing. But if we can get it right and get it done early, it's done in a way that's ethical, because if it's uh, not addressed and not done loudly and done via a fork and all of these things, uh, this is a concept that's coming anyway. This is a concept that's coming anyway. And if it's not tokenized on Bitcoin, if it's not Bitcoin compatible, it will be on some other chain, some other chain that I would assume a large corporation will run on their own. And it won't be Bitcoin. It won't be on Bitcoin. So not only that, will we use that utility? All of those users won't be uh, pushed into Bitcoin. They won't really know about it. They'll be onto some uh, centralized system. And Bitcoin itself, again, I'm a very large believer in it. I've been in it since 2015. It altered my life. It changed the trajectory of my family. Being an early investor, I was introduced to it by a very now a very successful man. Uh, it's, yeah, it's the, it's a Cinderella story for me and it's been an amazing story for me. And I consider myself, uh, very indebted to, to Bitcoin itself and the community. I know a lot of the OGs and people in that space. I have very much a massive amount of respect for, I know that, uh, forks and things like that. They're not going to like the idea of it because they're, uh, purists, which is great. But AI is coming and essentially AI needs to come to Bitcoin in that sort of a concept. So a BCI mining, uh, idea, it needs to, uh, become a thing because it's going to become a thing either way. It needs to happen on the Bitcoin chain. It needs to happen with us uh, at the at the helm, like you guys very involved and, and very open source and very public. Because if it's not open source, understand it's a dystopian concept. Uh, mining crypto, essentially people can sit in their room and getting less and less space over time, essentially become to sit in pods and uh, essentially be a battery concept. When you see those ideas in the matrix and you sit there and say, oh, but I don't, I don't like that idea. Understand it's coming. So it can either come in an open source form via Bitcoin and also uh, come in a way that's uh, 
you know, ethical and it's open and it's a way that people can, can essentially earn money and, you know, essentially have an income because UBI is coming, universal basic income, it is coming and it's coming and this is a way to give them tasks and give them things to do and they essentially will learn about the chain and they'll be securing the chain so it'll be great for the hash rate will continue to go up they're a form of clean mining i believe into the future you'll discover that they can do computational tasks like solving mining rewards and it doesn't alter their like it's it's used in the back background so they can still function in day to day and without much of a, a downside so I know that it seems like an unusual thing and, and people will look at it and say, why would it do it? It's quite a dystopian concept. It's coming anyway. So why not get at the front facing it? Like, why not take control of it and uh, have it happen on the Bitcoin chain rather than not? And AI needs to come to the Bitcoin chain. We need smart contracts. And that's that that all needs to happen. And I'm a big Bitcoin believer. I'm, I consider myself a purist as well. You know, I have a lot of respect for the guys, like you say, like the OGs and the people who have protected the chain this whole way. But uh, this this all needs to happen. And I believe it happens in 2030. I believe BlackRock and, and those funds that uh, Bitcoin believers, like the, I would consider the maxis, the sailors and guys like that, they're going to uh, vote, they should vote on such a like fork. You know, uh, hash power, a lot of it will come out of the US by then. I think 60 to 70% of hash rate will be there from 20, uh, 2030. And I propose this for a fork and I would hope that it, it gets approved. Because going to come no matter what, there's going to be an AI chain regardless. Let's get AI on Bitcoin and let's, yeah, let's help the people that are going to ultimately be on UBI. Let's introduce them to Bitcoin. Let's get them self-sovereign. Let's give them uh, education. Let's change their life the same way that Bitcoin itself has changed mine. And it's not really about me. It's not my message and things like that, but this is an inevitable uh, thing to happen. People will ask why I'm filming like this because I understand I'm just like you. I'm, I have, I'm a content creator and that I create content. Yes, sometimes slashy content, this isn't that kind of content. This is a, I want to know that you, you to know that this comes from my heart and it's out there. And, you know, I'm a big, big believer in Bitcoin itself. And that's it. You know, there's going to be a one pager released tomorrow and uh, it's going to itemize the, the things that I'm looking into Friday. And yeah, let's change the world. It's, again, change the chain. It's just the next progression. It's just the, the nature of progression. You know, it's a needed thing. All right. See you later, Maxis.